hello what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new, my name is emmanuel in today's video as you must have seen from the title we're gonna be learning how to install either your terminal command prompt or whatever sort of shell you use and when i say shell it's just why i mentioned earlier the command prompt terminal so on and so on and so forth now before we take a step into the tutorial make sure you smash the like button click the subscribe button and use the notification bell now let's start Okay, now the first thing we're gonna do is as you can see we're gonna make use of what we call the package control. Now to make use of that, we're gonna come to our sublime. So you don't want you don't have to worry about what this is. This is just an app I built, but you don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna do control shift P and then we're gonna type package control. As you can see, we have it at the second. Yes, we're gonna click on that. We're gonna try installing that. Um it should be installing by now. Okay, yeah, as you can see, we have package control was successfully installed that's good so if you have any challenge installing this or any issues make sure you comment in the comment section below we're going to find solutions to that okay we're going to press ok and next thing we're going to do is we're going to install what's going to make us be able to run whatever terminal shell we want to run so i found one it's called terminals okay they're all that's out there but i think i prefer this one because this one is easier to use maybe that's that's the first one i could find anyway so this is terminals we can run terminal shell bars z dishes and so on and so forth you can read it there now to install that we're gonna come here then we're gonna do ctrl shift p now to install, okay so we have package we can just come up here um let's do install package okay that's what we want to install package we're gonna run that okay now you see we have a list of all we can install a lot can install teams a lot more more than just running your terminal in sublime you can do a lot more okay you get the point but what we want to once is one install terminals so we're going to type terminals and then kind of click on it to your cursor presenter now you can see at the bottom left corner we have installing package terminal here it's running oh yeah it was installed successfully now do we know if it's installed we're going to press ctrl shift p now we're going to type terminals Whew, we have that installed finally okay now if you look at it here if you click on this toggle panel then you see you should have this which is should, this should run my command prompt because i think that's what i have as my default here um is it, is it running anything i don't know why um something must be wrong let me try that again toggle panel oh guys hey sorry for that I had, i'm back so what happened was i had to restart my own the first time i did this i didn't have this issue but if you have the issue all you have to do is just close your sublime and restart just restart your sublime basically and it should, it should work now if you want to change this to either whatever whatever whatsoever terminal you have installed on your system just press ctrl shift p now you're going to navigate to list shells okay list shells just click on that and then you choose whatever you want so if i choose power shell here and i open in panel so this is panel here you can also open it in a new tab so i'm going to open that in a tab as you can see we have powershell open here um, it takes time to run my system but as it anyway get the point we can run commands here. you can run just like your normal command prompt it's basically the same thing it does is just open this in the same folder with the same um, project folder you have here okay so thanks for watching if you enjoyed it then you should give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell much love guys peace out